What's up, everyone? James Lynch here for Odds Checker US, taking a look at Saturday's UFC 273 main card. And we're going to start first in the strawweight division. We've got Mackenzie Dern taking on Tisha Torres. And right now, the odds makers have Mackenzie Dern as the favorite. You'll see here they actually have it wrong. You look at all the books here. They've got Dern as the slight favorite here, minus 125, a variety of books. And this actually flipped. It was uh, Torres as the favorite, and now she's the underdog. Uh, Mackenzie Dern, 29 years old compared to 32 for Tisha Torres, 5'4 to 5'1, 63 to 61. One, and you'll see Dern looking to bounce back off of her loss against Marina Rodriguez where she had a knee injury going into the fight that snapped a four fight win streak so we'll see if Dern can avoid back to back losses for the first time in her career and Torres has been on a roll three straight wins looking to get her fourth win in a row this after losing four in a row herself okay next fight we're going to look at here is uh, Gilbert Burns and Hamzat Chimaev the most probably the most highly anticipated fight on this card and you can see there Chimaev a huge favor here minus 590 the comeback in Gilbert Burns plus 425 35 years old compared to 27 5'10 to 6'2, 71 to 75. So you see there, uh, Burns uh, looking to bounce back himself after losing to Kamaro Usman. Sorry, he's coming off the win over Stephen Thompson. What am I talking about? Uh, bounce back in a big way, getting the uh, decision win in that one. That was back in July, so a bit of a layoff coming into this fight. He has won uh, three of his last four fights, just the one loss there to Kamaru Usman. Shimaev undefeated in his career, coming off a really impressive win over Li Jing Liang uh, back in October, where he finished him in the very first round. Uh, should be an interesting matchup. I think if Shimaev wins, you're going to see him get a title shot because he's just been on a roll undefeated and finishes all of his opponents. Next fight we're going to look at here is the highly anticipated bantamweight title rematch. Aljamain Sterling, Piotr Jan. Of course, if you remember, Piotr Jan uh, ended up losing his bantamweight title due to an illegal knee. Aljamain Sterling gets the belt. He hasn't fought since then. He had neck surgery, and that's and he is a, a big underdog right now. Plus 340, the comeback, or sorry, the favorite here, Piotr Jan, minus 450. 32 years old compared to 29, five foot seven a piece, uh, 71 inch reach compared to 67. And I mentioned it there, Sterling has not fought since that fight. He was rewarded a win, even though it was an illegal knee. Prior to that, had a couple nice wins over Corey Sanhagen, Pedro Munoz. Uh, quite the win streak going into this fight, Piotr Jan. Uh, just the one loss there to Sterling. Again, it was an illegal knee. Some people feel like it shouldn't have been a loss. Outside of that, outstanding in his career. Uh, a lot of impressive wins here. Aldo, Faber, uh, the list goes on. Uh, really important fight for this division. And I think this fight will be a little bit closer than the first one, but uh, interested to see how this one plays out. And then the main event, it's Alexander Volkanovsky taking on Chan Sung Jung, the Korean zombie. You can see there, Volkanovsky, the biggest favorite on the card at minus 800. The comeback on Zombie, plus 550. 33 years old for Volkanovsky, 35 for Korean Zombie. 5'6 to 5'7, 71.5 to 72. So Zombie going to be a little bit bigger in this fight. But um, Volkanovsky, obviously the big favorite here. And with good reason, two wins over Max Holloway. That second one a little bit close. Uh, Brian Ortega, really nice win there. And Ortega actually defeated Zombie just two fights ago. Uh, really dominant win in that one. So that's likely why Volkanovski is the favorite. Make sure you check out on this channel. I'll have a preview of the main event and I'll give my pick out for that one as well. And just a quick reminder, this card starts at the usual time, 6 p.m. Eastern time. Pay-per-view going to be starting a little bit closer to 10 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, you can do the conversion on that end, 7 p.m. Pacific, 3 p.m. Uh, Pacific time as well, if you're looking at that. So I want to know what you guys think in the comment section below. Who are you picking uh, for Saturday's UFC 273 pay-per-view? Follow me on Twitter and on Instagram at Lynch on Sports. And make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel at OddsChecker US, where you'll find my breakdowns every single week. I'm James Lynch. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.